Oh crap, please! No more! <laughs> what is it gonna end? I've been falling for like 500 seconds! <laughs> please make it stop, brother, please no more! <laughs> I bet you thought you could knock me out, you damn rock! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh, thank the stars. Hell yeah, another win. Nothing better for happens to the amazing zebra for your own. Oh, no. Please, Stargazer, what did you make me do? Are you not worried about the others? Your squad mates, at least? But we're alone, and we don't know what's around you. Is that him trying to calm me down, or is that his idea of flirting? Wait, you're a guy, right? <clears throat> oh, me? I'm a girl. But call me any pronoun you want. Why aren't you worried about the others? <sighs> yeah, you're right. I guess they are strong enough. I just kind of miss them, you know? Especially Axel. Parsley flakes. I know I don't have the others, but I have you, don't I? We're together now, but we won't always be. I can't handle being here alone. I can barely handle a fight alone. The only reason I'm even so high up in the squads and rankings is because I've always had people to guide me up. My main motivation has always been to keep going because it's what Axel would do. I don't really have another reason besides that. I know you can't really talk properly right now, but when you can, if it doesn't bother you, I'd love to hear about your clan. Clickbots! Give it your all! We think this place has something to do with all the monsters invading Zingtopia. All the chaos and calamity, death, and even destruction. We just want to find the source of it and put an end to it. It's all worth it for a bright future for Clickbot Kind, right? We all need our own retribution. We all have the right to our own wills. I don't see anything wrong with a fair sense of justice, do you? Looks like Starkey is resorted to something. I must have made a crack in the capsule that the monsters used as a crush to start going on a rampage. It must have been longing for this moment so badly. For whatever reason, I must have been dreaming for so long. Dreaming for a chance to be free. What we're doing may be evil, but we're just trying to get revenge on the ones that did us wrong. And it looks like you are one of those people. <laughs> no, 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 no! I'll make them suffer! <laughs> These monsters have all been waiting for their chance to strike. This is their liberation, their ultimate revenge! Wait, huh? Oh gosh, oh boy, what the fuck? Wait, what does that even mean? Please, someone!
Hey. Hey. Do you, uh, work here? Kinda. I usually help my mama do stuff around here. Cool. Can you, um, take me to her? I don't know. Are you one of those click bots that were sent here for a super secret mission? Um, yeah. I need to talk to her to uh, tell her some important information. Your mom is a very important lady, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Alright, right this way, mister. Sure. I kind of feel bad for lying to this little kid, but at the same time, I need the results. He probably doesn't know what he's getting himself into. So, kid, um, what does your mom do here, exactly? She's the assistant to Dr. Aloko. That's fun to say. Oh, cool. But, like, what does she do here? Are you that Rudy fellow that we were told about? The captain of Squad 9? Damn, Aloko. this isn't gonna be easy. Aloko. Crap, how much do they know? I like if they got to the mom, she might realize that I'm not Rudy and report me. Whatever, I'll just play it cool. It's only a couple of stick bots. I should be able to mobilize them at the worst and move on. Oh, yeah. What's your name, by the way? Carlton. <laughs> I'm in. By the way, why are you roaming around in the lab all by yourself? It's pretty lonely here. There's no one around my age. How... how old are you? Thirteen. You're not that far from me exactly. I'm fifteen. Oh cool! Wanna be my friend? Hey mom! I brought a new friend! Oh cool! What's his name? His name is Rudy. That blue click bot that you were talking about earlier? Hi, Rudy. My name is Carla. Nice to meet you. I was curious. I just wanted to ask some questions if that's okay. Go ahead. What's on your mind? I was wondering, since this is a science lab, what exactly do you guys experiment on here? I can't exactly tell you that. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to see if you actually told me. I know it's monsters. <laughs> Why? And how are you letting them escape too? Sure, I'll give you this. Some of them probably didn't come from the lab in the first place, but I know that some of the ones that my squad has fought, we almost died over them. But I'm sure before they got to us, a lot of stickbots died too. How are you even comfortable with doing such criminal things? Are you trying to help the monsters? Cure them? Make them worse? We do what the boss tells us to do when he's given orders from father. He always gets his slimy damn cups on everything. Do you enjoy what you're doing here? Does it give you purpose? Did you want to do this? It, no, I was offered to work here and I took it in over the past couple of years. I've been promoted to assistant. I feel so freaking bad. It's just not clickbots, isn't it? Since you are the assistant to the boss, that does mean you are a smart scientist. Miss, were you forced on this job? Once you start working here, you can't leave until you die, because the secrets of this place will be out if anyone could just quit. The security measures here are specifically built for stickbots, since no clickbots have found out about this place and come out alive. You clickbots are faster and more agile, and can move around easily, but for stickbots it takes much longer, so it's easier to get caught, which is why nobody tries to escape either. I'm sure you've encountered my old co-worker Kaigaku. The only reason why he escaped was because he had the grin. They were a monster that Position 5 was experimenting on, as well as a mask we had experimented with try and give Stickbot's monster powers. Don't ask me why Father would want to do that because I have no idea. Grim was a normal Stickbot that had been used as a vessel, but when the vessel merged with the Stickbot's body, it killed him and the only thing that revived him was the monster's powers that gave the body life energy. There's also been a couple of monsters that merged with animals, or giggles which was our main experiment that wasn't a mega monster. We call them mega monsters because they are the biggest and most powerful. Scary! Megas? Tell me more about giggles. Before he was a regular stickbot, but the parasite took over and turned him into a murderous clown. He had been found by a forest, so we tried to infuse him with plant DNA to give him powers to grow roots from his body. He used him for battle, as well as the super strength that all monsters are equipped with. His powers disrupted the natural order of things, so when he would activate them, the weather and the temperature inside of the land would change. He was very dangerous. Society is cruel to those who aren't like them. We just wanted everyone to be happy. They twisted our fates to be monsters. 
We weren't born this way. All we wanted was for everyone to have a bright future. <laughs> So sorry. Killing stick bots is a crime, and we've been doing that all this time. I don't know what's wrong or right anymore, but I have to keep on doing what I'm doing, or else none of this will be worth it. For Clickbot Kind, for a bright future, and for you guys who have been suffering in silence for far too long, and we've been so oblivious to all this because we had no idea. I'm, I'm so sorry. I may not know what's wrong or right anymore, but. All I know is that I'll do my best to fight the battles that you can't so we can see another day. So you don't have to suffer anymore. I swear I'll kill each and last monster so that we can live in peace and happiness. Nobody will have to die. Nobody will have to suffer. I don't think that's too much to ask. I don't think that's too much. Because I'll do anything to secure a bright future we all deserve. From this day on, even if we're not together, I promise I'll protect you guys no matter what. By the way, I must tell you that I've been lying to you. My name isn't Rudy, it's actually Cosmo. I figured since you told me so much, I should at least tell you the truth about my actual name. But I just couldn't breach that information yet, but I think it's safe to say that we're even now. Well, thank you for being honest, Cosmo. My name is Carla. Carla. With your help, we can cure the stickbots and free the monsters. Do you know there's such a thing as a pure monster, like a, like a monster that aren't stickbots? Magas don't really show human qualities at all, but there's a decent amount that are just pure monsters. Others are transformed life forms with enchanted elements. All right, good to know. I, Cosmo Stargazer of Squad Nine, promise to my very last breath, I will help and protect stickbot and clickbot kind. Maybe one day our regions can reunite and Zingtopia will be one big island. <laughs> that would be so nice, Cosmo. Hey, can you two do me a favor? Sure. Promise, you'll protect each other, no matter what. Of course. Always. Hey, Cosmo. Don't answer if you're not comfortable. But I was wondering if you have a family to go back to once all of this is done. Both of my parents were actually scientists, but one day they went on an expedition to explore, and they haven't came back since. That was over a decade ago, though, so I'm at peace with it, but no, not really. Not any real family, anyway. How would you like to stay with us then? <gasps> that would be wonderful. Okay, well, since you're in the Hunter Academy, that might be a bit of a stretch, but if we were to visit you or you could visit us, that would be great, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it would be. Yay! Cosmo's coming back! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Once I have the time and this is all done, I'll see you guys again. But for now, I'll be on my way. I'm not even supposed to be here, so I have to go find my squad mates now. But even still, from the time I was here, I appreciate every moment. Thanks for everything. I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Carla, good morning. We need Carlton for this rewarding experiment. If you don't mind, we'll be on our way. Dr. Iloko. Reverting, like, monster to stickbot reverting? No way! What if he doesn't change back? How dare you! If you don't like how we operate, you should have just chosen a different profession. You always try to look so professional like you know everything. We are clearly just a suck up to the bosses. You'd just love to climb up the rocks, wouldn't you? Be on top of me, and everyone in this facility so you can be your own boss. You can't even take care of your son properly. Mom! Nothing to say is usual. Just take it in and lock it in somewhere so you don't step out of line. People like you make me sick. Following the hive mind with nothing to truly offer. So replaceable. Mom, stay back! 
Damn it. I shot her in the head. Now I can't harvest the brain. He will lead me to the equipment, which can be led to other monsters. Then, we'll grab Carlton and grapple out of there. After destroying all the monster's capsules. Shut up. Wait, no! No! Bastard! Get a hold of yourself, Carlton! Did I fail? Fail to Mama? I used him because I expected better. Well, looks like that's the way the cookie crumbles. That was rough. Something about this guy right now gives me the vibes that he has no intent of holding back because I'm a stickbot. He knows killing a stickbot is illegal. Right? He'll be tried as a hunter, kicked out of the academy for years, forced to monitor the birthplace of all stickbots. The Tree of Eternity! As far as I can remember, since I joined the academy, there was always a rule that we can never kill a stickbot. That's why the next few words that spill from my lips came from so deep within my guts that it made nearly everything I ever fought for feel like a lie. I'm going to kill you! This guy is actually going to murder me in cold blood. Sounds that sounds that